Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Epsid. So in this video I want to say a few words about the latest uh, updates of Datable Django, the premium version. And now the product supports uh, a new code base uh, pattern where the design is no longer hard-coded inside the product and comes from uh, an external library, which means um, the design can be used in any Django project, legacy or uh, new project. Another thing is the fact that uh, the design covers also the uh, the admin section reserved for super users, but also styles the entire website. Let's uh, take a look at the documentation, which was uh, updated to reflect all the changes. Uh, the team is here. Basically, the library that styles the starter is a separate product. And uh, we can check out here the, all the installation instructions. We, we just need to, to install the, this repository and the make some super minimal um, updates in the code base and we are good to go. On top of this, uh, the, the starter now supports um, continuous integration, continuous deployment flow using render. So basically we can deploy the product uh, in, uh, in minutes and I will uh, demonstrate this, um, this feature right away. All the uh, instructions are here. In case something is missing, don't hesitate to um, access the support page and uh, use these coordinates. This is the official email, support at AppSeed, and also we are live on Discord for one-to-one -one assistance. Okay, let's uh, access the, um, the product on GitHub. Uh, so starting with this, uh, with this version, uh, the code base is, um, is basically a public repository saved on GitHub. And um, in order to use it, um, we need uh, a GitHub token to get access to, to, this, um, to this private library. Okay, I will uh, duplicate the product and uh, push, on, uh, push the product live using render. Okay. For this demonstration, I will use this uh, temporary token, which uh, will be deleted after the after the demonstration. Basically, during the purchase, uh, the user gets uh, receive only a, um, a file that explains the installation process and uh, the value of this token to be used uh, and exported in the environment. Okay, now the the new, the new repository is um, generated by GitHub. I will edit here the render.iml just to update the name of the service. But uh, in your case, you can leave it uh, as it is. So, um, okay, I will go to the render, which is the uh, default uh, deployment platform used by AppSeed because it's super, super nice. Uh, they have, um, they comes with decent pricing and a lot of features. Okay, in order to deploy the product, you need to go here to access your render dashboard, go to the blueprints, just uh, drop here the, um, create a new blueprint, of course, and uh, drop here the URL of the repository. Okay, just uh, provide the name for the service to be easily identified later. And uh, now the render platform pushes the, the product live. The first deploy will, uh, will fail because we didn't export uh, into the environment the um, GitHub token. And uh, um, this first deployment will be flagged as, as failed. You can check out here the, the logs. And we can see that this uh, the private library is not uh, is not accessible. Okay, we need to go here to the environment and just uh, export the GitHub token. Save changes. Once we update the environment, the render detects the the change and uh, just pushes a new a new a new deployment environment updated and we can check out the the progress we can see here that the 
my, uh, the database is migrated and all the other things are successful and soon the product should be up and running at this address uh, Django minus data pro live on render.com okay let's create also a super user once the product is up and running uh, let's create a super user in order to access the, the private pay, the um, admin section and also um, uh, we can create a ordinary user uh, in order to access the <coughs> the common pages so by default the left menu is filtered it's uh, reserved for authenticated users we need to go here and sign in of course there is no user so I will uh, we here a new user test test at apps yes I will type here the password in order to <coughs> type it correctly okay the user is created and we can authenticate so this is the UI we are live without much effort the product comes with a super super nice UI dark mode and a lot of widgets components uh, this one looks good analytics project and all other all other widgets are amazing okay let's uh, do something else let's um, create a new user here using the shell so I will uh, create a super user Okay, perfect. So, super user is created. Let's access the, the UI log out from this account and uh, just authenticate as super user admin and I will use the same password now we are authenticated as super users and we can see that the left menu looks different we can um, edit all, all users delete edit the information and so on and also manage the group this is basically the the, the classic um, uh, Django admin uh, admin section, but style with this uh, this improved uh, UI. Okay, uh, what we can do from this point is simply to uh, customize the um, the UI. So this this is the um, the default homepage, and um, as I said before, the product comes with. Uh, now the product is basically integrated in this uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment flow. So we can check out here. Uh, now here. So this is the repository and uh, we can see here that we have a new environment which links to, uh, the product to the, um, to the render platform and the live uh, deployment <clears throat> so uh, in order to customize the home page we have here um, um, a section that explains how to how to do it so uh, the product comes with um, a custom index file here which is unused because um, uh, the team expects uh, a different name which is index.html so uh, in order to, to customize it i will uh, just go here to i will uh, navigate here into the um, uh, home directory and uh, simply rename the, the the file and uh, once the um, uh, change is committed we should be able to to see the change uh, on the live uh, on the live server so this is the the current um, home page and uh, I just uh, updated the, the code base in order to change the um, um, the home page and um, we can see here that render detects the change and uh, triggers uh, a new commit okay 
okay all it's redeployed recompiled and uh, soon the product should be um, should be updated with the latest version where the the home page should be should be different it's basically just uh, uh, a few a few widgets are are removed so uh, it's not a big deal but um, uh, I was uh, trying to demonstrate how easy it is to customize the team and how easy it is to use the product and deploy live uh, deploy it live without uh, without much efforts okay so now the product is uh, flagged as being live by render and uh, let's uh, let's access the UI we can see here that the, the home page looks different there is no uh, widget here at the bottom uh, we can, if we go here to the default page to the previous page we can see there are more more widgets and also this uh, map uh, is not stretched to the um, all uh, um, to the whole screen okay so guys this is the product uh, looks super super nice in my opinion comes with a lot of widgets components uh, feel free to to play with the with the ui i think the, uh, the live demo uh, comes with a default account let me out, uh, sign out okay so you just need to click here and uh, play around with the ui in case the um, the user is not is not created or uh, the login is not working just uh, go here to the sign up and uh, create your own uh, account but this is, uh, this is uh, <clears throat> should be optional and uh, just browse the pages uh, let us know what you think and uh, uh, how the product can be improved that's all the entire presentation uh, the product comes with uh, a super nice pricing and uh, we we have discounts for uh, registered users as well and uh, let us know um, other things that uh, might uh, might be important to your to your project thanks again for watching adrian here from mapsid and as always i wish you all a super super day bye guys